decided to do this really nice um, kind of coral summery look. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I will zoom in so you guys can see it. All right, and this is what the eyes look like. For this look, I did use Inglot Cosmetics. I actually bought um, a few new eyeshadows that I have in my previous video, which is um, a haul. So I absolutely love these colors, and I wanted to use them right away. So I came up with this look. And um, if you guys want to see how I did this look, just keep watching. So to start off this look, which I have already done, is I applied my Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. And up top of that, I applied my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Next I'm going to take this fluffy brush and it is from Crown Brush and it is C433 Pro Blending Fluff. And I'm going to take um, these two coral colors from Inglot. Um, this one is number 495DS and this one is um, number 366 and it's matte. So I'm just going to take a little bit of those, both on that brush, and tap off the extra. And I'm going to start that off right in my crease like I did on this eye. And just lightly start blending it. And I'm going to bring it down just a little bit in like a V sort of shape and just blend that up. And you don't want to bring it up too high. The height that I have it right now is probably as high as you want to go with this. Alright, now that that is finished, I'm going to take this flat um, little shader brush, and this is um, an e.l.f. brush, and I'm going to take this light coral color right here, and this is number 361, and it's matte, and I'm going to just pack that right on this brush, tap off the extra, and I'm going to place that all over my lid. And I find with these eyeshadows, it's easier to start off with packing the um, shadows down by just patting it on your eye because they are very soft eyeshadows. And then once you've kind of packed it on there, you can um, sort of blend it out just a little bit easier. Next, I'm going to go in with this um, little pencil brush, and this is from Crown Brush. This is um, C431 Precision Detail. And I'm going to take this um, pink sort of color, and this is um, number 74 AMC. And I'm going to put that right in on top of my actual crease, um, just to kind of give this a little bit of depth. And I'm also going to bring it down just a tiny, tiny bit on the lid, and just create a little bit of a V. Right, and then again, I'm going to go back in with those um, first two colors that I used and the same blending brush. And I'm not going to put as much product on my brush this time, and I'm just going to um, work this into the top part and just blend it out a little bit more. And also blend in that pink that I just put on there as well. Now I'm going to take this fluffy brush, it's just a no-name brand, and I'm going to take Brulee from MAC. And I'm just going to clean up the edges a little bit and blend the coral color out just a tiny little bit. Next I am going to take this um, rather large tight fluffy brush and this is a low Cornell brush. And I'm going to take this really pretty um, kind of goldish highlight color and this is AMC Shine number 30. And I'm going to put that um, up onto my highlight area, and I'm going to blend that down into the coral. And with this color, you don't want to use too much, so you can build it up definitely, but it is really um, 
kind of shimmery, so. But it's really, really pretty, especially with these colors. And then just blend that into the coral so there's not a harsh line there. Next, I am going to go in with that um, same little flat shader brush that I used to put the light coral color on my lid, and I just flipped it over. And I'm going to take this um, kind of really light orangey color, and this is number 407, and it's a pearl. And I'm just going to put some of that on that shader brush, and I'm going to pack that onto my lid right on top of the coral, but kind of focus more just on the middle. And it gives it a nice little highlight, and this color goes great with these coral colors just to kind of add a little bit of shimmer in there. Next I am going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil Milk and just put a little bit on the inner corner and just blend that out with my finger. I'm going to take this little um, brush right here and I'm going to go in with that same color that I used as my highlight and I'm just going to pop that right into the inner corner to brighten up my eyes a little bit and just kind of blend that a little bit upwards and into the coral that's on the lid. All right, next I'm just going to tightline my upper and lower water lines and put on some um, winged eyeliner and I will be right back. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to take this um, little chisel shader brush and this is also from Crown Brush. This is the C408. And I'm going to go in with um, these two coral colors again, just mix them together a little bit and I'm going to um, Put those right just on my bottom lash line and kind of blend them into my lashes a little bit. And I'm going to go in with um, this little brush again and the same highlight color that I used on my um, brow bone and right on the inner corner. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that onto my um, bottom lash line as well and kind of blend it in where the two meet just so it's not such a harsh line. And for my mascara, I am using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. And I like this for this look because it really kind of separates my lashes. And this is it just in black. All right, now that that's done, I can show you what's on the rest of my face. I've already applied my highlighter. I do that um, after I do my foundation and before I put on my powder. Um, I use the Benefit High Beam. I really love this color. Um, it goes well with my skin tone and it gives a nice kind of sheen. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really natural looking. And I'm going to take um, my Golden Bronzer from MAC and I'm just going to use my fan brush. And this is just a no-name brand and just put some of the bronzer on there and I'm going to contour a little bit with that. This is kind of a nice summery look so I figured bronzer would be appropriate. cheeks I'm going to use this blush brush and this is the C104 angle blush and I'm going to actually go in with the coral color that I used on my lid because it makes an absolutely gorgeous um, blush and I'm just going to put that right on the apples of my cheeks right and for the lips I'm going to take um, this Milani crystal gloss and this is in summer baby Alright guys, and that's the completed look. I hope you guys like it, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.